On this episode, we ski the morning again, then take the Gornagrat train to go on a death-defying sled ride, and then take a beautiful hike up to the lookout of Gornagrat. This is the story of a family of four traveling the world as often as possible, sharing their adventures. Join us all in this season as we find exciting new places to explore, living this crazy life on the go. If you like our videos, please hit the like and subscribe button. It helps us out a lot. All right, day two. Skiing. More skiing. More skiing. A lot more skiing. Yes. And we got out of the house on time, which is amazing for us. Right, Dad? We'll yeah. see. There's still time to cock it all up. Uh, today we decided instead of wearing our ski boots, we wore our regular shoes. And we're going to walk there um, instead of taking a taxi because taxis are about 12 Swiss francs. Riv's excited for day two? Yeah. Yeah? We to go skiing and yeah. sledding. Well, I think we're going to try to sled today. Yes? Yes. Okay. So what did you like most about yesterday? The not falling down part? Or did you like falling down? I like falling down. Did you? Yeah. If you don't fall down, then you don't learn. That's all right. So are you looking forward to today? Yeah. Yeah? Are you, do you feel like you're learning stuff? Yes. Nice. Good. I'm glad you're enjoying it. That makes me happy. Guess who was early? We were early by 15 minutes. <laughs> All right, so we started off strong today with a plan, right? Yep. We got up early. Yeah. We wore our shoes. Yep. We walked all the way up here to the top of the mountain. We were actually... Train. Train, a train. train. Good train. But we were on time, if not a little bit early. Yep. Got River up here, figured out how to unlock our skis, except for his, because yesterday we had to get a new mountain pass so he could go up to the top of the mountain with us because his was a beginner pass and rightfully they don't want kids running off on their own and going up there, right? Yeah. So we had to get him a new pass and what we suspect was that because we had to get him a new one, it erased his old one which had the code for his skis. So mom was awesome enough to go back down to the bottom to try to figure this out. So we got River set up, so she's skiing right now, and we are just patiently waiting for mom to come back with a solution to your skis, huh? Yep. So what'd you have to do? I had to take the train, which actually I probably didn't have to do, I probably could just talk to the guy here, but I took the train all the way down to tell the guy that we had a different car yesterday when we booked the skis, and so this, this car would work. And so we, and we don't have the cash. So I'm gonna bring him two francs tomorrow. Um, but then he called up here and told the guy, and the guy opened it for us. The first few runs started out great. We couldn't have asked for a more picture perfect scene and weather. Obviously, there wasn't a lot of snow, but the mountain did a good job making the snow and keeping the runs groomed. This is probably one reason why this is one of our favorite places to ski. It's not too overcrowded, which allows for smooth skiing. And I didn't get any footage of Joel skiing since I'm not very confident in my abilities. But watching him glide across the snow effortlessly is very poetic to watch. Think you should go do paragliding? No. No? What? Yeah. What about your fan? You all right? Take a moment. Man. 
better have made for good video. <laughs> Take a moment. Just sit for a moment. Thanks, buddy. Stop. Just take a moment. <laughs> You're not. You're not okay. I'm trying to just. Speak. I'm okay. Just take a moment. Uh, hurts. I didn't have boobs the last time I skied. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I'll rub it for you later. <sighs> Look. Scare you more than anything? Yep. I wasn't expecting it. You were you were in awe by my awesomeness. I don't remember what you're talking about. Uh, the fact that you said you were gonna go paragliding. Oh, I said you need to go paragliding, and you said it'd be good for the fans, and then I eat shit. So there you go, fans. <laughs> Hopefully, this thing still has a battery. Well. Now that your boobs hurt, how do your feet feel? <laughs> I'm sorry. Maybe I did it on purpose so I can get off my feet. <laughs> Whatever it takes. I had me worried there for a bit there. Brian, I think you hurt something bad. Just my pride, babe. Just my pride. Just my... I mean, don't get me wrong, I hurt, but it's Wait. fine. The only thing you're supposed to do on a ski lift is drink. Out is drink and smoke. Where's the make out? Make out, I can make up to you. How would you make out with all this stuff on? You want to rub helmet? Because when we were kids, we didn't wear this shit. <laughs> Ooh, her helmet touched mine. <laughs> can I rub your helmet? Yeah, dark helmet. Your helmet's so big. <laughs> <laughs> you made out, God, what kind of woman did I marry? I actually never made up on it, made out on this one. I was too busy skiing. I was, I skied with my mother. I love to ski with my mom. Yeah, it's kind of funny, out of all the things that I could do, I always got up early for school, even though I failed. <laughs> and I always got up super early to go skiing. I skied another run, but Joel made me stop. He said I was too stiff and was going to hurt myself. So I went to go get a beer while he skied down to find the kids. As you can see, he is much better and faster without me tagging along. Unfortunately, he didn't get any film of the kids skiing because the bar from the chairlift had hit the GoPro and it was pointed in the way wrong direction. That's awesome. And a little funny thing happened. Fall? Yeah. No. <laughs> hey, of course you did. More or less slid. That's right. Your mother needed a timeout. <laughs> More or less I slid on the board. She scared herself, so she's a little. Help. She fell and scared okay. herself, so.
the terrain right behind us. Just pulled in. Very cool. And I'm also eating sour gummy worms. I just made an ultra one. Mine. Ladies and gentlemen, the Gorner Grant Railway welcomes you aboard the train to the Gorner Grant. Your ticket allows you to join or leave the train at any station or to make a stop along the way. We wish you a pleasant journey. The Gornagrat train takes you all the way up to Gornagrat. Along the way, there are several stops. To go sledding, we disembarked at the Rodenboden and sledded down to Riffelberg. Our idea of sledding was more along the lines of what this family is doing, but in true sea lifestyle, it was something completely different and hilarious. Let's go. Bye. Bye. Bye! 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 Now it's Bob's turn. <laughs> Let's see if I can do this and film at the same time. This could be rather amusing. Or scary, one of the two. Oh no, it does crash and burn! Dig your heels in to stop. <laughs> oh, now we're stuck. It's kind of like you sit on the bottom and like hold on the bottom and lean. See? I didn't know how to turn. We just kind of barely figured it out. <laughs> he went off the side. <laughs> Avenge me! I got, a, I got a boot full of snow. Bye! Bye! <laughs> Not the only one knows that. No, no, no. Not the whole world knows that. Oh, yeah, it's going on. I can't turn with one hand. Oh, oh, Des, if you kind of grab on the bottom, like right back here, you can make it lean really hard. If you use your feet, you can actually direct it. A little bit, yeah. Sort of. A little bit. That was a hell of a really steep hill you. there. All right, for those of you watching, this is not slow motion. <laughs> I really am going this slow. Oh, shit. Ah! Is that good? Let me see Desmond's shoes. Roll on. I don't want to go ahead. <laughs> I hate sledding now. You hate sledding? Yes. I don't like sledding on this. This is hard. See you in our graves. <laughs> I don't think I can stop this. Just gonna have to go for it. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Stop. Stop. <laughs> Take it, you done? Aren't you? Yeah. yeah. 
Two slits, two people, it's impossible. <laughs> With one person, it's impossible. <laughs> With one. Helmets are definitely yeah. needed. <laughs> Hopefully I don't get the headaches like last mountain. We're not going that high. We're not going that high. But we're still going high, but not that high. That was high yesterday. It's 12 something. He's way up, see what's way up there. We're probably about 10 or 11. I could look at my handy dandy watch and tell you. I know, I need some serious caffeine also. <laughs> what was that? 10,132 feet. I would have or, not guessed a foot over 31. <laughs> or 3,089 meters. <gasps> How many football fields is that? <laughs> I have no idea. Is that actually ice? Yes. Oh my gosh, that's cool. Whoa. Look at that cool glacier. I can't. I'm too short. It's cool, huh? Yeah. It's all a glacier. It's all broken apart like that. Because it's slowly, as it builds ice and snow up there, it doesn't melt, so it continues. And it, it's like a river, see, so it's slowly traveling. An ice river. How far is Desmond's Rock? Yeah. Gonna go. Oh, guess guess how far it went. Oh. All the way to the bottom. <laughs> Look at this sea life all the way at the top at Gornagalot. I got a blue drink. Yeah. Yo, sea life forever. Yeah. Yeah. Hashtag sea life forever. I want to eat this stairs and going uphill. Stairs and ramps. <laughs> Is that your nemesis? Is Things that go 30 minutes on this perilous Switzerland. Switzerland? Swiss sea, not enough oxygen. <laughs> the brains. This perilous Swiss mountain climb. There's much malcontent in the ranks. I fear we're gonna have to eat the small one soon. <laughs> Moving on up. Side. Almost there. Is that, you saying that for yourself? Kinda. <laughs> I have decided at this time, it's best to leave them and venture off on my own. I wish them all the best in all their ventures. Good luck. That peak right there is 4,500 meters. Oh no, bro. Des doing important things. All boys do. Throw things off tall stuff. So the Matterhorn is 4478, but that one is 4505. So it's only 200 meters higher. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. We super appreciate it. And for all of you out there who are not too keen on our cold weather adventures, don't fret, we're gonna be back in some warm weather in just a few short months. And please don't forget to like, like and subscribe. Good night, Scott Whoa, that is so slippery right there. Uh, I think that's for younger kids. <laughs> Part goat, she is not. <laughs> Part ball, she is not either. Yeah, my water goat. <laughs> she is not part slut. Looks like a avalanche or a rock site. It's a waterfall. Water? Oh, there's a waterfall. Wait, what okay. is it? Hold on. What is this? I forgot. Can I try it? Yeah. Okay, it's sugar. We'll take all of it. It's mine. Oh my god. Mine. Like it's sugary cinnamon balls. It's like a donut. Oh. It's like a donut hole, Ooh. but better. A big one. <laughs> right? Those are nice. They're like the best donut hole in the world. Nice and soft. Okay. We're gonna we have to go to Foots. <laughs> <laughs> I just can't. We just bought a bunch of um, pastries at Foots. <laughs>
I can't see him without laughing. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Because I'm immature. Um, and we're gonna just buy like all these pastries. Um, because it's before dinner. We're gonna go try it all and see uh, how yummy it is. And uh, yeah, and shower. I think we need showers. Um, can I go in here and get some fondue sent up? For your pretzel? Okay, I'm gonna go get some fondue for our pretzels. He's taking all my bread. Like meanie. And you throw some like I get stuck with the paper. That's not cool. After carb loading and some showers, we fell into a much needed deep slumber to rest our bodies for many more adventures tomorrow. Join us next time for our last day of picture perfect skiing and River and I try ice skating again. Then Joel and I go out for some much needed adult time. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and then follow us on all of our social media sites, including Patreon to show your love and support even further. We'll see you next time.